Hey guys, what's up? This is Vaka here with another video streaming tutorial. And this time I'm going to be talking about creating a replay highlight reel with multiple replays happening that we can save off clips and then replay it at the end of our matches of our streams. So before, if you remember, I added the regular replay button, which will switch to scenes and have some cool effects. And you can see the replay of what happened in the last 10 seconds. Now we've been using that and people have been liking it, but the problem is it doesn't actually save off that replay anywhere and it just shows it once and then it's gone. So what I want to do is actually save off the clips so we can stitch them together in the end of a match and then we show all the highlights together. So what I've done is added these buttons that start off with the, that have replay buffer feature in your OBS. So I didn't use this before, I learned about it now, which is quite convenient. So you want to set it up in your settings. And you want to go to Output, Advanced, Replay Buffer, enable this guy. I set it to 12 seconds, okay? And recording saves at the same spot as your regular recording. So you gotta remember that they're saving the same spot. But it does add the prefix of replay to the files. So that is what I'm keying off of in order to move the replays around or deleting the extra ones that I don't want sitting around. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate real quick what's happening here. So I have a folder over here uh, called replays that I'm gonna point it to. So it's gonna save the file into here while I, re while I save it. I can now hit the button on my stream deck for the, well, I have to enable it first. So now you see the replay buffer, you have to make sure that's en enabled. So now whenever you want, you just, I just hit the clip button it's going to clip the last 12 seconds or so of what happened. Make another clip. Okay, so now the match is over. Make another clip. So now let's go come check out. So there's three clips now saved into my directory, right? So what I did was I created a replay scene, okay? Of, uh, and it's gonna look in the directory and stitch the three videos together now. And it's just using as a web source. It's gonna look at the three files. Now the reason I use the web source, not just the regular features in OBS for the I think the VLC source for videos is because I couldn't get the transitions to look right from the VLC source. It just very jarringly switched between three videos. So you see how there's a phasing transition that I have here. So I had to add that in myself. So that's why it's a web source. So there you go. There's the highlight reel, what happened. And you can create as many uh, short clips as you want for the match and it'll just stitch them together one after another and play them over again. So now we have a nice set of replace after the match of things that happened way prior in the match. So I hope you guys look forward to that feature in our upcoming tournaments that we'll be running. We'll be testing it out and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want uh, access to the source code, it's also always gonna be uploaded to my GitHub. And here's some extra features of moving the files around. So one last thing to note that I also have to save clips or delete the clips. So let's say I like the clips that I want, I want to use those later for my social media or something, upload it to Twitter. I can just hit the save clip button. What is gonna happen is you see the clips are no longer in this directory and it's moved it into another directory that I have here with the date and everything set so that I can look for it later. See, I have some more actual ones that I saved from earlier. And if you didn't want them, you're like, yeah, they're not that good. You can just, you can just always hit the delete one. But you do have to delete them out of the folder because it's gonna just look in the same folder and if you're in the next match, it'll stitch the previous match in there if you haven't deleted it already. So that's just one thing to remember. I'll try to make it so it's more automated so it'll know to either delete it or we can move it so that we don't accidentally get you know the previous clips stitched together with the current clips. So there you have it folks, that's the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this content, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.